You might say Claudio doesn't waste any time. We're just back from the boat and everything's ready to start on his nice recipes. Well, Claudio, what should we do with this? This fish is to be prepared raw. Then we have the sea bream, bay prawns, red prawns, shrimps, the little squids and sea urchins. It makes up a whole dish to be eaten raw with small vegetables. And this is to go with it, uh, to have a sauce for the raw fish. Peppers in three colors, celery, and I don't remember its name. Uh, chives. Uh, yes, chives. Capers, salt and pepper, olive oil, vinegar and lemon. And we can start preparing the dish. Now I'm going to prepare the sea bream tartar. We have a little salt, like this. Okay, some pepper. And also some olive oil, a regional olive oil, and bread, um, bread um, uh, baked with milk. You mean she spread the tartare on a leaf of sage and then integrated it into a slice of bread made with milk. Now these are squids. We'll do a ling with them, stuffed with vegetables, a little salt, pepper, some pepper, now some freshly squeezed lemon. It's neither a French dressing with lemon nor with vinegar. It's a vinaigrette citronette, vinegar and lemon together with olive oil, so as to give some sharpness to the dish. Okay? So now we'll slice the vegetables to make the tartare's condiment. Okay? Now some red pepper to have a lively color, green pepper, celery, mouth watering, that's all the vegetables for the squidling. And now we'll have the squidling in the bread scallop with the leaf of sage and set it next to the sea bream tartar. Okay, now we get the sea urchin coral and set it into a bread shell, okay? It's the same bread we have over there, bread baked with milk. Next we add the bay prawns. Raw, aren't they? It's been opened, cleaned and still raw, always raw. Perfect. Now we'll have the sauce with the vegetables on the bay prawns, on the white shrimps, on the sea bream tartare, and on the squid leaf. Okay, that's fine. Here's some chives, we'll sprinkle over it all. We add the capers onto the tartare. Okay, the dish is ready. You have to eat it with your hands, and there, it's great.